Today's topic is gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhoeae that can infect both males and females. Globally, an estimated 78 million cases of gonorrhea are diagnosed each year. In 2015, it caused about 700 deaths. The bacterium infects warm, moist areas of the body, including the eyes, throat, vagina, anus, urethra, and even the cervix in females. Gonorrhea is most commonly spread during sexual contact with an infected person. However, it can also be spread from mother to child during birth if the mother is infected. Previous infection does not confer immunity. A person who has been previously infected can become infected again by exposure to an infected person. In babies, gonorrhea most commonly affects the eyes. It is called ophthalmia neonatorum. Men have a 20% risk of getting the infection from a single act of vaginal intercourse with an infected woman. Women have a 60 to 80% risk of getting the infection from a single act of vaginal intercourse with an infected man. Untreated gonorrhea can lead to significant complications, such as infertility in men and women, a pelvic inflammatory disease in women, infection that spreads to the joint or heart valves. Causes Gonorrhea is caused by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhoeae. The bacteria are most often passed from one person to another during sexual contact, including oral, anal, or vaginal intercourse. An infected mother may transmit gonorrhea to her newborn during childbirth. Risk factors may include multiple sex partners, younger age, previous gonorrhea diagnosis, having other sexually transmitted infections, a new sex partner. Symptoms. In many cases, symptoms may not appear, but if they do, they occur 2 to 14 days after exposure and may include, in men, painful urination, pus-like discharge from the tip of the penis, which may be yellow, white, beige, or greenish, swelling or pain in the testicles or scrotum, swelling or redness at the opening of the penis. In women, increased vaginal discharge, watery, creamy, or slightly green, painful sexual intercourse, painful or frequent urination, abdominal or pelvic pain, vaginal bleeding between periods, heavier period, bleeding after intercourse, symptoms in other sites of the body, rectum, anal itching, strain during a bowel movement, pus-like discharge from the rectum, tissue stained with blood, eyes, eye pain, pus-like discharge from one or both eyes, sensitivity to light, Throat, a sore throat. This is usually acquired from performing an oral sex on an infected partner. Inflammation of the lymph nodes in the neck. Diagnosis and treatment. Gonorrhea can be diagnosed by analyzing samples of cells. These samples can be collected by a swab of the affected area. The sample of fluid from the symptomatic area is taken or collected with a swab, penis, vagina, rectum, or throat, which is then examined in the laboratory. Urine test may also help to identify bacteria in the urethra. Home test kits are available for women. These home test kits include vaginal swabs for self-testing that are sent to a specified lab for testing and results are reported directly to the patient. Treatment. If testing is positive for a gonorrhea infection, the individual and partner will need to undergo treatment. Gonorrhea is treated with an antibiotic, ceftriaxone, given as an injection one time and an oral medication, azithromycin, or doxycycline. Babies born with gonorrhea receive a medication in their eyes after birth to prevent infection. Antibiotics can be used if an eye infection develops. Prevention may include using a condom during sexual intercourse. Consider regular gonorrhea testing. Having one unaffected sex partner. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.